Hi guys, in this video I'll show you how to create a new object-oriented Java project in IntelliJ. First, open IntelliJ, then click the New Project button. Alternatively, you can also go to File, New, and select Project. Then on the first screen, give this project a name. I just name it Sample Project. If you want to, you can change the default location of where this project will be stored on your disk. Make sure you have Java and IntelliJ selected and click the Create button. This will generate the project. Once this is generated, on the left side, you can see the sample project here. Inside, there's a source folder. This folder will contain all your Java files. Um, there's a single file generated, which is named main. Java. You don't see the extension here. This file contains a single class named main, and this class has a main function that contains some sample code. Note that the class name and the function name here uh, just happen to both be main. The main function doesn't necessarily have to be in a class that's called main. Um, it can be really in any class that you like. Now, let's go ahead and run this. So on the top right, click the run main.java button. Um, this is the play button that you see. When you click it, you can see the status at the bottom, which shows it's building the project. Once this is ready, it will execute it and then bring up the console. So the console here, you can see the output, hello and welcome. This is a statement right here where we print out hello and welcome. Um, this is not print line, so it will continue after that. And this is the for loop here. Now with this, new class. So here, new Java class. Um, I name this pet. Click the create button. And this will add a public class pet named pet. Now that if you generated this class and you want to change it later, Let's say I call this animal. This will create an error. You can see it here. Class animal is public, should be declared in a file named animal.java. So in Java, the class name that's inside a file always has to match the file name. So here, this has to be pet. If I wanted to be it to be animal, it would have to be in a class named animal. I can have multiple classes, so if I do class animal down here, this would work because this one is not public. But you can only have a single public class in a file, and this class has to match the file name. Note also that it's typically not very common to have multiple classes in a file. So typically there's one file per class. I can add then some member variables, let's say name. I can add getter and setter. I can also generate them. If I go to generate, or you can click command N or control N if you're on Windows. And then here you can select, you wanna create a constructor, only getter, only setter, or getter and setter. If I click getter and setter and click create, you can see it generated this code for me. Now, if I want to have another class, I again go on the source folder, click new Java class, and then animal. I click this, now I have a class animal that's in the animal.java file. And here again, I can define any functions, anything I want to do. Now, if I want to go to the main function, I remove this code the sample code, and here I can create objects of these classes. So my first pet, pet1, is new pet. I can also add animal, animal1 equals new animal. And you can see it automatically resolves these classes because they're all in the same folder. If you use another IDE, uh, sometimes you it, it creates a default package um, you can also create one here, new package. You just be sure that all these are in the same package. Uh, a package is essentially like a folder to organize your project. But as long as they are all in the same package, 
it will automatically resolve. Now for the main function, you could also add multiple main functions. So I can add a main function here, st public static void main. And then uh, create a pet here, for example, pet one, new pet. Um, so the main function you can declare in any class you want to. It doesn't necessarily have to be a main class or a program class. But typically, if you have a separate class for the main, like main in this case, or program, or however you want to call it, it's easy to see. When you open the project, you see right away, this is kind of the main class that I want to open to run this program. This will still build and run the program, but in this case, you don't see any output because we didn't put any system uh, outs to this program. Now, if you wanted to output uh, something, you can obviously add it here, but this is not necessary. I hope this gives you an idea how to create your first object-oriented Java project. Thank you for watching.